Hello, my name is Greg Pumo, brand manager for Rogator Interrogator, and I'm here with David Fickle, the tactical marketing manager for Rogator Interrogator, and we're out here in Southeast Indiana, yep. soybeans, uh, at the Rogator Crop Tour. And Dave, tell us a little bit about the next 30, 45 days, yeah. what's going on here, and a little bit more. Yeah, really exciting stuff, Greg. So we, you know, like Greg said, we're here at the Southeast Purdue Ag Research Center. We've got a, a 2021 crop tour here. Uh, we've got some soybeans out here. We've been looking at some different protocols. We've actually been able to use the Rogue Gator C-Series, right? So we actually use a commercial sprayer to do the application. We're gonna have some results coming up here soon. We're gonna take all this to yield as well. Here with Brian Young from Purdue. So Brian, uh, we have two different types of, of boom height out here that we're looking at. As I understand it, we've got a 24 inch and a 48 inch uh, comparison, right? So the 24 inch folks is gonna be the correct boom height and the 48 inch is, is kind of that too high version, right? Folks might have some, uh, maybe they've got some rough terrain and they raise their booms up. Uh, maybe their auto boom system isn't quite dialed in for whatever mm -hmm. reason, and we're showing what can happen uh, with maybe some weed escapes uh, if, if they don't have the right boom height. So Brian, tell us a little about what we have here and what we're seeing as far as results. Where we had optimal boom heights, we typically had a little bit better weed control than if we had the boom too high. And so, you know, when thinking about that, if the boom's too high, you're trying to get good coverage, some people would think, well, we're, we're fogging on fine droplets, we're layering a fog across there, so I'm gonna get my good coverage. That's what Liberty wants, that's what it needs. Well, what can also happen is you can have some of those finer droplets evaporate, they never do end up hitting the target, and that's what we saw here by using some uh, water-sensitive spray cards. Okay. We didn't get the deposition that we would expect when we had the boom height too high, so the droplets never made it down to the target. You know, we talk a little bit about some of the results we've found thus far, right? We're gonna take this stuff to yield eventually, but what we're seeing as far as weed pressure so far, uh, we talked about uh, earlier in the videos with Brian Young, uh, that boom height is important, and we saw that here today. We basically had a 24 inch and a 48 inch uh, comparison study, and we of course found that boom height does matter. We also saw that boom height, you know, can change a lot, right? There are some hills in this area, there's some, there's some terrain, and we know a lot of you out there are encountering terraces, uh, very uneven terrain, especially out in the Northwest. So a boom height system is very, very crucial. And on the Rogator C-Series, like what we use to actually apply these plots, we use the Raven Auto Boom XRT system. It's a great system. It's been introduced uh, uh, just, you know, just recently there. Very accurate, works extremely well across all different types of terrain uh, and conditions. Again, boom height, very important. You wanna make sure that that's uh, dialed in and you don't wanna be spraying too high. So always check your labels um, and, and check your nozzle spacings. Thank you.